Yann and Adelaide back with a project where we're using a bird bath as a planter and I'll explain to you in a moment why we're not using it as a bird bath and the plan is to get some um, plants in top that will um, fill out a little bit on tops and I'm looking at some succulents that I've got small cuttings of and then a few trailing plants over the side so looking at either Dichondra Silver Falls or String of Beans now Here's one of my String of Beans plants here Another over here down the side of the house. We've got quite a few cuttings. That I've taken from the main plants and that green one is another of the main plants and the rest are all cuttings or propagations I should say in various stages. So we've got heaps of material to use. You can see some of them have got quite long trails already. We have tried to use this bird bath as its uh, intended purpose and birds don't seem to like it. We've placed it all around our garden and they, um, because of the high entrance into the garden, there's a very high fence along there and you've got tall buildings nearby. So we've had it in various positions, it hasn't worked. Birds don't like it, they hardly ever use it. it just gets dirty, look. So yesterday we started using the drill and that by the way over there distraction that's called Lucifer nice little can of that one nice golden edging sort of looks like it's on fire I guess maybe that's why they call it Lucifer so back to the bird bath just going to pop that down for a sec so on the back here, right in the middle, John started using the drill yesterday, but it was only partially charged. It's a very weak drill. It's probably going to get through eventually. But then when once we, I was just realised as he was doing that, can you see how that's indented? And then if you look in, on the inside of the bird buff, that's actually higher up, that part. So really we want the drainage to be in the lowest area rather than down there so we don't get too much stagnant water sitting in in there because um, we're not going to probably be able to get many drainage holes in so then we start another one over here when I say we um, I'm talking about John power tools and me don't really mix so we're going to try and get maybe three or four holes in um, and hopefully that will provide reasonable drainage so that's the plan So it sounds like we need a little bit more talk on there. So uh, here we go. No? So, do you actually know what you're doing? <laughs> so still um, having a go at getting this first hole done. And this is a review. I think we should turn for the front. The full frontal view instead. The side on view, how's that? Yeah. We're halfway through. Okay, so he's determined that we're not halfway through. And um, it's going to take a long time. Yep. Look at that hole. Yeah. No. It's made a dent. <laughs> Dent's not really quite what we're after. So you need a different bit 
Yeah. He's going to try a different bit. So when you say a different bit, is that the um, end bit or the middle bit? <laughs> the bit is the end, the long bit. Oh, it's like saying who's on first, what's on second. The bit on the end is the end bit. He's changed drill bits, it's a lot smaller. Oh, yes, and I was waiting for that. We've probably got a big ding in our concrete as well. Yes, no. yes we have. No, we and I did, I did actually say to Johnny no, we that don't you dare put any holes in concrete, but yes. Or words to that effect. But look, can we please move this to another area? Yeah, which is what I wanted in the first place. See, yeah. don't you just love little domestics over? No, that's still on the concrete. Oh, over that side. Okay. See, I'm not really that happy with that great gouge that she's made. I'm dying Don't worry about it. <laughs> right, I'm just um, holding this, giving, making sure that it doesn't slip and slide. All right. So how are we going? What's the progress as far as power goes? Or are you going to try another bit? Johnny's looking rather um, annoyed, perplexed, or something. <laughs> oh, the bit won't come out. Oh, oh dear. Um, would you like to do this off camera? Yes. <laughs> so you can um, ha do a few expletives. All right. We're going off camera. If a moment with Polly <laughs> sorts out his bits. <laughs> he got it. He got it. He got it. Oh, small bit, small bit. <laughs> so you're going to go for the small bit. So now I'm not technically minded. Is it like you're almost doing like a pilot hole? I am. He is. He's decided that he's going to do a pilot hole. <laughs> See, I knew. I knew. I know nothing about drills and bits. Still don't. But now I still don't. He says. <laughs> All right. The pilot hole. No. Oh, well. Needs to have the bit in correctly. This is really good DIY advice, everybody. So the drill bit it started to look a bit wonky when he was um, so this needs to be tightened up. All right, now we're ready for drilling. Safety shoes on. Leaning over in a completely um, bad posture. I'm going to do my back in way. Don't follow any of our um, DIY tips at all. Good night. That one's no good. So changing back to a larger bit, um, he did make the um, comment, uh, which is sort of done the bleeding obvious, that it's not a powerful drill. I can hear it's like turning over really slowly, struggling to do anything really. Not much power left on this drill. Put on full blast. Oh, it's finished. So we, we charged it up for how many hours? <laughs> Well, that's working on that one. Is it the setting that you're putting on? Do you know how to use that drill? Do you have a, do you have a license for that drill? <laughs> uh, Johnny's come up. Yeah, can do that again. <laughs> oh, really? John put his fingers on the drill bit and it was hot. So then he had to dunk the drill bit and his hand into the water feature to cool down. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I mean, it's like, you know, don't muck around with drills like Johnny is because you can hurt yourself. <laughs> like, between the two of us, we, we're not particularly good at little, you know, we like gardening and all that, but um, when it comes to any sort of little projects, um, we're not always, uh, especially it's something that we're not that familiar with. No, so it's not really getting any bigger, and we're running out of power. It's right, okay, so don't touch the drill bit, it's going to be hot. <laughs> so this is, a, uh, this is DIYs, this is how you do, you get your water feature and you dip the end of the drill bit into the water feature. <laughs> I've never seen that on one of those uh, uh, gardening DIY shows. <laughs> It's almost three. Come on, go for. Yeah, we might have to 
charge it up again. Right, so I've finally got two holes in there. So you can see there and over here. I just put a little bit of gravel at the bottom because this otherwise the water's going to pull in that area in between the hole and there. That will just um, hopefully help with drainage. So I've decided to, I'm just going to use um, this little imbricata. Pretty sure this is an imbricata, Echeveria imbricata. Um, once I've got the soil in there, so I'm going to pop that in the middle. That'll sort of um, produce little pups and uh, fill a little bit of that central, central area. And then around the outside, I've decided to stay with the succulent theme and put in some of the string of beans. Now, right, so I'll get to it on this. And let's see how it finishes up. Okay, so here's the finished product. I ended up getting all the Echeveria Imbricatas that I had in the garden and I just clumped them together so they've still got room to produce pups in the little cracks there. And the in the front there is the um, plant, the main plant, um, which is this long one here. And then I grabbed a couple more. I've got plenty and I planted smaller ones around the side there. So, and another small one down that side. So over time that will look a bit more natural. The edge of areas will get into a tighter clump hopefully. And the string of beans will sort of start filling out into the part of the bowl. And I've already got one strand that is nearly to ground, down to ground level so down the track I'll probably cut that off and pop that in to another pot to propagate more. So this little project is finished the bird bath is now a planter and John's limping over here what did you want to say something? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so he's come over to have a look <laughs> so that's the Imbricata, Echeveria Imbricata um, there on top and I've got a few trailing string of beans, Sonicio radicans is the That's botanical good. names. Right, so they'll fill out nicely after a while, they look a bit scrawny there. I just want to get the effect of a, a bit of a cascading foliage and a little bit of a contrasting foliage on top. And the drainage holes seem to work. I've watered that thoroughly and I could see water coming out of those little holes. So I think two's enough. So that's worked pretty well. Now I've got to think about our next project. So it's bye from me from Leanne in Adelaide. <laughs>